All right, y'all. So I posted a video of us getting our tiny home, which it's not a finished tiny home. We are finishing it ourselves how we want it. So I'm going to show you, I've already done some work, but I'm gonna show you kind of like what we're working with. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around. So this is what it is. It's just gonna be an empty canvas. So what we're planning on doing is adding a master bath, bed, all that. You know, I know it's a tiny home, which we're gonna do what we can, but we want um, our room. So we're probably gonna put our room over here, a bathroom over here, and then this. So right here is where the master is gonna go. And then we're gonna have our kitchen probably around here. And then back in this corner is gonna be bedrooms, which that door will have a deadbolt where it has to be locked with a key. So we will not have kids be able to get in and out of that door because we do live next to a pretty busy highway out there. So kids' bedrooms, maybe a small little half bath. They'll just use our bathroom for baths and showers. And then a little sitting area right over in here. And like I said, we're gonna do like our L-shaped kitchen along the walls of their bedroom and that wall. So we're not positive on this lineup, line out, like how we're lining it yet, but we will, be, I'll be documenting it every step we go. So right now I've been working on putting plugs, boxes in, and putting foam around the bottom. And then we'll work on, not, we'll find the, the drill to put the, be able to wire up the, wire, put the wire through. And then uh, my husband's actually at Home Depot right now. He's going to be bitting some. So we'll be doing that. Get out of that now. And then we will be getting insulation so we can come and stay over here. Don't put that in your mouth. Get an insulation and then we should be able to move over in here and then use like our Ninja Foodie cook uh, pot. And then I'll still be able to go over to my mother-in-law's house to do laundry, cook whatever else I need to cook that I can't cook with that. And then I'm just gonna keep taking you along this journey with us. So I'll be documenting everything I do in this place and um, going over it with you. I'll have it videoed, everything I'm doing. So you'll be able to keep up with the build with us and hopefully it goes well. It is gonna take a long time to get it exactly how we want it, which we will be doing it slowly because I don't wanna just put things in and then be like, well, I didn't really like that, so we're gonna upgrade it to something else. It's gonna be what we want when we do it. So it's not gonna be quit. It is not gonna be changed. And not, we're not going to go back and be like, well, we're going to change this and do it. So once we do it, that's what we're doing. Like I said, it is going to be a very long, slow process because we have to have the money to do it. We are doing this all out of pocket, no loan, no nothing like that. So it's going to be a very slow process, like I've said five other times. Um, but I hope that you all enjoy the journey with, a, with us. I'm going to video everything I can. That way you can see what goes into building a tiny house if you are ever interested or someone you know is interested. And that's just a, a general idea. So what our building is a 16 by 42. Um, and so we will use that and convert it into a tiny little house. We do have four kids, so it's going to be a very big adventure on how this works out. But I am excited. I hope you all are excited. And let me know what you think.
Mm-hmm.